Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. New subscribers, thank you guys so much for joining the family. I've seen the support, the like, and everything, and the shares also. I'm saying thank you so much. So, in today's video, I made a video last week about um, Zara, Zara Cap with this scarf and using a gilly on the bag on the, um, on the undertone for those that want that you to stand very upright. But then, at the point, I feel like that gilly was so big, and then you might want your own to be just to just stand and just be a little to just stand, sha. See, English is very hard. Let me just go straight to the point. You shall want your gilly to just you know you want your gilly to just stand Zara and then just have something inside. That's all. So like I did last week, you will put your gilly forward. Once you put it forward, you would. This time I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use a normal scarf this time around instead of uh, gele. It will give it the standing effect but still movable and still bendable and I don't know if you get so. This I folded my scarf already into this. This size I think is okay for this size I want. So, I folded my scarf into this already. This is quite long, I must say. If you want to put it into two, I could just now take it into two again. If I desire to. So, I have this very short. I can go around my head. Right? So, this is what I have here. Then I'll go again. This is what I have like this. So I'll cover this front of my head. I'll place this. You can hold it like this. I'll place this directly on my forehead. Don't forget. Then now instead of making a knot, since I already reduced it, I could now just pick this, tag it up. You know, still holding the back. Then I will now hold my gilly, my the gilly I'm using to tie actually, and just to make the knot at the back. In this way, even the hand of the gilly that they are used inside is not going to show. So you see, this is also standing, but if you are comparing it in height to the one I did last, is smaller than that one, right? So this is what we have here. If you don't like your hand standing, do I like my hand standing sometimes? If you don't like your hand standing, just twist it around and then just tuck it somewhere down here. So with this, you have what? A simple Zara cap in another shape and form, right? So I think this is better because see the back is not showing anything at all because the gele used this side stopped just before you made the knot. So this is another very simple style you could try out. And you know, this you can also move, but I don't think you can move it as much as you can move the one with gele. So this with like the normal actual gele. So just place you can move and place it like this. Mm. Oh, this is like this. Ah, it's giving a proper Zara cap that was needed. Or oh, back to the normal. Don't forget, place on your forehead but not covering your eyebrow. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yes, baby girls.